Hello, my name's Wendy Lockhart and I've been a passionate Fremantle supporter and member since day one. Well, I've been very much involved in Fremantle football all my life. My father played football for South Fremantle. My brother played uh, over 200 games for East Fremantle. So I made a decision once AFL came to Western Australia that I wasn't going to jump on board until there was a Fremantle team. When I look back to the early years and that first team, one that will always stand out will be Clive Waterhouse. I mean, Clive was like, he was such an enigma. You know, he, he was probably the first cult hero that Fremantle had. He used to take out as many of his own players as he did with the opposition, yeah. so he was fabulous. I've got a great memory of Andrew Wills kicking an unbelievable goal from the um, pocket at the, at the uh, Perth end, and it was totally unbelievable. And he was usually quite, you know, sort of subdued, but he just went absolutely nuts. <laughs> Jeff Farmer, never forget Jeff standing in the goal square after kicking a goal, raising his hands to the heavens and doing what we used to refer to as the purple Jesus. <laughs> and of course, Matthew Pavlich, who was fabulous. Yeah. His 250th game, I think it was, when he got the ball and kicked a goal, sort of like in the first few minutes of the game. Oh, the crowd was just, you know, it was terrific. And um, your favourite domain moment, what would that be? One that I'll always cherish, and I'm sure that there's many people out there that'll have the same one, is that halfway through the last quarter in 2013, in that preliminary final against the Swans, when the crowd started chanting MCG, MCG, it was totally electric and um, I'll never forget it. I encourage all Fremantle members and fans to get along to Subiaco Oval for the last game there for our side on the weekend.